Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day you are watching this video. This is Dr. Eric Tangu Monkan with IEM Approach, where we inspire, equip, and motivate people to discover God's great potential in them, develop that potential, and deploy it. I want to talk about your feelings today. Your feelings. <coughs> Most of us like to say, You hurt my feelings. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. Just because you don't feel like doing something does not mean you should not do it. Just because you don't feel like doing something does not mean you should not do it. And just because you feel like doing something does not mean that you should do it. Just because you feel like doing something does not mean that you should do it. I've already contradicted myself, right? Because either way, I've said, your feelings should not be leading you. Do you know why you're not exercising regularly? Do you know why you are failing, you are stuck, or your bank account is empty, and you have zero investments? Do you know why you're missing opportunities? Because you depend on your feelings. You say, oh, I, I don't feel like going out today to exercise, it's too cold. Did the cold take you unaware? No. You know, winter is a cold season. Why didn't you prepare against the cold? When it's summer, you say, oh, I don't, it's too hot. I don't feel like exercising. You know, if I go out there, I'm going to have heat stroke. Really? Stay hydrated. Dress appropriately. You see an investment opportunity, you tell yourself, I don't feel like, I feel like if I put my money, I'm going to lose it. No. You have to learn how to manage risk. And that comes by gathering information. The more information you have, the more educated you have about that particular area, you are going to win. Stop letting your feelings lead you. Your feelings will deceive you. It's time for you to have a vision. It's time for you to figure out where you are going, set up smart goals, and let those goals lead you and not your feelings. I'm tired of hearing people say, oh, I don't feel like you stepped on my feelings. I know some of you are already feeling that I've hurt your feelings because I'm challenging you to get out in the winter, dress warm, go out and exercise, and stop saying, oh, I don't feel like it's too cold. I don't feel like I don't have gym membership. I don't feel like. If you stay in that place, nothing is going to change in your life. You can blame and complain and feel all the way you want all day. It's not going to deliver what you need. Wake up and take charge. I want to invite you. I don't want you to say I don't feel like it. Join us on the Towers 100 Days of Clean Eating and Exercise Challenge. It's not about your feeling. You don't need to feel good. You need to do it to feel good. 30 days of raw food. We are on day 22 of 30 days of raw food. I have been on the program. I am on the program and it is fantastic. My wife wrote the book and she knows what she's talking about. Get your book today on Amazon. And while you are at it, 100 days of to freedom. Your feelings are not going to lead you to freedom. You need to take charge if you want to be free. A holistic approach to nutrition, health, fitness, and wellness. Again, my wife wrote that book. It's going to give you a strong why. Go on Amazon, get a copy. And this is the roadmap. Those of you say, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know how to go about it. This is going to help you for 100 days each day. You have a devotional in there each day. You have instructions on what to do. Order the books now and stop saying I don't feel like because they're going to help you. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Join us on our Facebook group and together let's win.